Um, another day, another camera setup. This time with a webcam and a microphone. I hope that works out. Doesn't. Uh, I uh, already did this video one time and uh, wasn't happy with some stuff. But uh, let's let's see. Um, yeah. Anyway, my name is uh, Michael. You're watching the Compendium of uh, Discomfort. And um, we're here to talk a little bit about Yugo Sakamoto. But first, um, last time I talked about my new decoration, but not about uh, this movie. And this movie is uh, Seijunjaku, or I Dare to Stop Us 2. And uh, it's a very nice movie about... Um, Koji Wakamatsu, you know, the famous uh, director who um, built um, a cinema and uh, started to produce movies that he could show in the cinema. And it's a very, very fun movie. But uh, yeah, like I said, not today, no Koji Wakamatsu today, but this is for a different episode. Uh, much, much grimmer episode than Yugo Sakamoto. Even though we are here to talk about Shura Rando and Rando means uh, land, of course, and uh, Shura is basically a bloody, brutal conflict, and that's what we're getting in this movie. Basically, everything about the cast is the same as usual. We've got Takuya Matsumoto, we've got Yu Yoshi, we have King Goyoshi, who recently seemingly turned into a black metal guy with a corpse paint and stuff, and uh, that's pretty funny. Um, anyway, uh, this is a nice little movie, only 12 minutes long. I finally found it on You Next. Um, I wanted to get You Next anyway for the Baby Assassins uh, TV show that will be shown there uh, as well. And uh, that's probably the easiest way for me to watch that. So, um, yeah, Unix seems to be pretty cool. Like, they have a huge selection of uh, movies. Uh, they have all the HBO stuff. They have some wrestling, uh, great concerts and stuff. So, if you're in Japan, I highly recommend uh, getting Unix. Uh, nice. And you can watch uh, Shura Rando, which is seemingly the only source where you can watch that. I couldn't find it anywhere else so that's uh, pretty good pretty nice um anyway yeah like i said the cast is more or less the same as we know it um here we have a story about two dudes who uh, need some money the young guys and they see this middle-aged man in his gray track suit and if you okay, let's um, take his money. He probably has some. Um, he doesn't have much. And then they try to uh, yeah, basically kill him. And he doesn't agree with it. So this whole thing goes terribly wrong. One of them escapes. The other one gets captured. And they both end up um, on different uh, sides of a very brutal, violent uh, battle. Who would have guessed... Um, in the middle, there are some uh, young ladies who, uh, yeah, Mr. Sakamoto just likes to kill innocent people casually. Um, yeah, that happens. <coughs> and it's a, a very, it's a very fun little movie. I was quite surprised how fun it is because the title suggests more uh, violence and bloodshed and you get enough of that but it has a little comical twist the start actually it begins quite stylish with a nice montage scene of the city with some cars and stuff going on and some of these two dudes in the car talking about uh, bullshit <coughs> like you do and um yeah then uh, it gets into this bloody mess and uh, we get some nice little jokes a uh, little spoiler at the end we dive a little bit into this professional killer territory that uh, 
you go like so much and before that we get in pretty much a gangster territory and stuff like that and it's all good uh, fun we have some um more stylish camera shots like a, a square spiral staircase shot from below twisting people walking down it always looks good you can't go wrong with that um You've got a, a nice little shoplifting scene uh, in a shop that looks pretty much like the shop that he used in Slaughter Jab for a shoplifting scene. Um, probably it's the same. Um, pretty nice. We've got a King Guyoshi, like the protagonist from Hangman's Knot, who plays a little bit different role here. Not so much the slightly socially awkward weirdo, uh, more... Um, the uh, cross-dressing uh, guy who uh, completely freaks out, rips off his wig and starts to talk in a very manly voice when he gets angry. And that's pretty funny here. Um, yeah, it's all good and nice. Uh, we've got some nice uh, splatter effects. Um, uh, like, we have this big, big fight at the end. Um, probably the first big brawl that he... Um, put in one of his movies um, of course you still see how they did the effects like this one scene where someone gets his eyes stabbed out with some kind of like an ice pick or something on the screwdriver and you you can see it's it's next to his face it's just the camera angle makes it look like um, it's, uh, but it's to totally fine I mean it's it's not bad to understand how they shot something and later he has a nice like messed up face uh, with good makeup and, and stuff so it, it works totally fine um don't expect a very um detailed choreo choreography um because it's, it's just a mass brawl but uh, it looks way more believable and authentic than for example in um uh, at the beginning of b uh where it was you know, punching on from above onto the enemy on the ground and it's more slapping the ground than actually the face and you can clearly see that and um yeah <laughs> um no much 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 better here uh, works pretty well um yeah so so far probably his best action scene that he uh filmed and it's it's very fun and at the end like i said you get a little fun twist so the whole movie is um still on the uh, bloodshed level of stuff like Family Wars or, or Slaughter Jab or something like that, but more with a Kunioka-style joy to it. And um, that makes it very enjoyable and watchable. And it's only 12 minutes long. There's nothing that could be uh, confusing with a story or... yeah. So, um, yeah, if, if you have the chance, like I said, it, it's pretty difficult to find it if you're not in Japan and can just uh, subscribe to you next so but uh, yeah if, if you have the chance to to watch it please do so because it's a uh, very fun very enjoyable and a little bit uh, less nihilistic than his other early movies so yeah good good stuff um, next time will be a little bit longer I guess because we will get to his feature films and uh yeah until then i hope you have a good time and uh bye